these kids' individual stories are phenomenal. You know, the, the level of resilience that they have and the way they work within their families to help raise their own families. And there are quite a few untold stories within them that people wouldn't know unless they knew them. Woogaroo State School is a school about 1,500 k's from Brisbane. We're on the southern edge of Townsville. We're at a school of about 300 students. We're about 30% Indigenous. I guess life in Woolgaroo for some people could be a little bit of a struggle. They're coming from somewhat challenged backgrounds. We have a number of housing commission houses. We have uh, a reasonable to high level of unemployment. We have a number of uh, families that have challenging circumstances. So for these kids, their challenge is to try and make a difference and change their lifestyle course, which is easier said than done. So anything we can do at school level, through sport, through learning, anything that we can do to help change these kids' lives is what we do. My idea and my goal for these girls was to take on a challenge, uh, achieve well in that challenge and hopefully that would hold them in good stead in future life where they can meet life's challenges and, and give them an outcome that they, that they deserve. That's how the motto of, of Woogaroo School, Woogaroo Spirit. The school have adopted it across all aspects of learning where it, it applies to all your learning as well. Have a real go, you know, do your absolute best that you can in the classroom. That's our message to the, to the kids is, why can't it be you? Why can't you be the person that goes on to do whatever you want to do? Queensland Cricket had a, a competition here, the T20 Blast. There was a boys division, there was a girls division. And so when it came to the, the Townsville competition and the regional competition, they were looking for teams. Along we went and lo and behold, we won that competition. We then went to the North Queensland section. We won that, we then went to Brisbane. In the, the sporting landscape, we tend to be quite boy orientated. So it's normally our boys teams that, that have our success. So it was very pleasing to see that a group of girls who probably weren't by definition cricketers, but they were skilled, they could throw, they could bat, they could catch. I taught them how to bowl. They quite enjoyed being the, the stars of the, of the show. I love the cricket, but I love the thought that those girls might go on and play cricket at a club level and then their sisters and brothers might go on and play cricket at a club level and build all those friendships and rivalries that, you know, that I experienced growing up. For the future of these kids, my hopes for them probably go deeper than a sporting level. I, I hope they, they realise that they can choose what their life becomes and I hope they make right choices and I hope for, particularly for our Indigenous girls and for the non-Indigenous girls that they go on to achieve whatever they want to be and then they can then be role models for their families, role models for their people and be leaders amongst their people.